If you have a team plan in Dulato, I'm going to show you how templates work and the different permissions. So if you are the owner of the team, you are the only one that can edit the templates, but everybody can use them. You can set it up so that your users can edit the document before sending it to their client, or you can have it set up so that no changes can be made to the document. And you can do this with either documents or forms. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick form and show you how you can make it so that your team members can either edit it or not edit it. After you've gone in and created your form, on the right hand side here, these are the sending options. So if you would like your team members to be able to make changes to the form before it is sent, you will want this allow customizations before sending to be checked. If not, go ahead and turn that off. You can also publish this to the client portal when it's completed and make this visible to other team members or uncheck it if you don't want it visible to other team members for some reason, like if you are still working on it. Once you hit save and close, this will show up in your form bank here. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like from the participant view to show you that they can use the form but can't make any changes to it. So once your team member is logged in and they go to templates and click on forms, they will have that form available to them that you just created. However, there is no way for them to edit this form. They can preview it and when they have clients, they can go ahead and send it to a client, but they cannot edit the form. So now I am going back in to change the form so that participants can edit it before sending. So I will just allow customizations before sending. So when your team member logs in and goes to their clients to send them the intake form, they can click on paperwork here and click send new paperwork. They can choose the intake form and this is actually where they can edit it. So since you changed the permissions, then they can go in and edit the form. They can add in additional questions if they would like to. They can change the description here. And then when they hit continue, it will be saved and continue again. It will send to their client. 